I don't know anything. I know there's a down to earth and a little salad. They got their own post office, you know. You gotta go child support. That's where child support's at out there now. Oh my gosh, it's so far. <laughs> That's awesome. Well, Copley has like always been like family oriented and I think that's really great. It's more for like families, I think though. So. There's no like clubs or anything. Um, we don't even have a bar down here. It's a lot of uh, a lot of opportunity actually here. That's the number one thing actually I really, I didn't even mention that because I wasn't thinking as far as an entrepreneur, but yeah, out here it's just, it's untapped. Uh, virtually you have nothing but chains. There's a lot of room for small businesses. I like that I grew up here. Um, this is very familiar for me. So there was no couple, it was one big kilo. Basically all this was sugar king. And uh, you know, one kilo is still growing as it is right now. We only had this um, Safeway, we had Kmart, um, but over the time Walmart came and all these different shopping centers. I like that it's not too crowded as per se town Honolulu side, but it is getting a little bit more crowded now with all the development coming along. So I kind of hope it kind of stays kind of country, but yet helps with businesses coming out from town this way to help the west side people. With the TJ Maxx and the Target and yeah. I think it's more of a suburb. Um, the city reminds me of Waikiki, and it's not nearly as busy. Yeah, I would say that this is more suburb, uh, but yeah, it's because only because of the contrast of Waikiki. So I would say it's a city because it's one of the biggest cities out here on Oahu, uh, besides Honolulu itself. Um, I don't know why people would say it's not a city, because maybe it doesn't have a gigantic mall like Ala Moana or Pro Ridge or something. There's a lot of history out here too. So it's a matter of getting out there and just kind of exploring.